Dirty hands. <laughs> Working hands. <laughs> These are for all the blisters I've gotten from the axe and the saw. I've got to get something on this. I keep hitting it. So I'm going to find some fresh pitch. Healing properties of that will help it scab over. Puts a coating on it so it will keep any bacteria out. Okay. So I'll put the tape over top of it just to get me through while I'm working. Okay, back to work. I have to go source some logs. Every time I think I have enough, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> I might need like 10 more trees. It's a lot of work for one person to build a cabin oh. here. Whew. The expenditure of calories that it's taken to put up a log cabin is extreme. I will need protein at some point. But to me, I think that it's worth every calorie spent to be able to have a warm place to stay when it's cold because being cold will put me out way faster than being hungry. Once I get my shelter built, I'm going to focus on hunting and fishing. You don't see that very often. I'm whack. What do you think of that? <laughs> One of the things that is definitely a little bit different about being alone, usually, I have a team of people I'm working with. My husband, my kids, my dad, my mom. If my family was here, we probably could have this cabin built like in two days. <laughs> it's tough, but this isn't the hardest thing I've ever done. Well, that closes it up really nice and tight. After my accident, my family took care of me. My husband carried me to the bathroom. He carried me to the shower. My kids helped bring food and cook for me. I lost so much of myself, and I was broken. At one point, I thought that it would be better for my family if I just had died. Their love was so strong that they just did what they had to do to take care of me. It took me three years, three years to be able to walk without crutches. I want them to see how far their mom came. I want them to see that no matter how low you can get in life and how dark and dim life seems to be, you can always pull out of it and come out on top. You just have to keep fighting. While I'm out here, I'm going to keep running to the finish line. And whether that finish line's in 50, 80, or 100 days, I'm going to do it. I think that's pretty good.